one, one of the things you find out if, if you get on the Board of Education, you find out what you cannot do more than what you can do. So much of what we have control over is we don't have control over. It's mandated by state and federal, as is Common Core, as they've said, and a lot of other things. But Common Core, I don't really agree with it, but let me clarify. Common Core is not a curriculum. Common Core is a set of standards that are set you know, for each grade. And the curriculum is left up to the state or local government. And Tara hit on it kind of close when she said the problem that's happened with this thing is a complete misunderstanding of the purpose of it to start with. You know, if you, if you look at it, there's not nothing wrong with expecting a child in New York or Washington State or California or Georgia to learn the same, the basic same things in the first grade. The problem is how you go about doing it. And the problem we've had is Georgia has had no basic <coughs> curriculum guidelines, all of that, as they said was pushed too fast. And there's been a big mumbo jumbo along the <coughs> system in the state trying to develop curriculum to teach those standards, and it's just been a mess. And so from the standpoint of, of having standards and letting the teacher teach, that's what we need to do. I mean, we need to have teachers, and 99% of our teachers are dedicated people. We just need to tell them, and we talk about this in the school board all the time, what we want to, and we're working, you know, a local board doesn't have, uh, doesn't have much authority in trying to get something like that changed in Atlanta or Washington, but we're all members of the Georgia School Boards Association and our superintendent, Georgia School Superintendent Association. Through that united group, there's a lot of work being done to try to make things like that. Thank you. All right. Next step, the uh, final question, then everybody will have a